Hey guys, I'm Vane, and welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy X. Where we last left off was we basically finished doing the Xanarkin trial uh, that helps us get the Destruction Sphere to open up the item that we need to go and return to Anima's Temple, which is Temple of Baj. Uh, I went through a little bit of series of information about Z uh, Zoj <laughs> I was thinking Zojimbo, but it's Yojimbo with his ability called Zenmato uh, and, and how it works went a little bit into what the temples were uh, that we're missing. Um, we went to Macalania, Macalania. Uh, we went to that temple and found out that that's where Shiva was sitting and waiting on us. So I don't think I can go into that just yet. Uh, I'm saving the Dark Aeon stuff for last. So Beset and Macalania, Macalania would, be your, would be the two temples we can't go to just yet. We'll probably hold them off till we get uh, strong enough with Yojimbo to just beat them out quickly. Uh, otherwise, we're gonna go for the other two trials that exist, uh, because we already finished Bavel and we already finished Zagarnikin, we just have Kilikia, uh, Kilika, Kilika, and, um, what was it? The Joes, the Joes High, High Road. So we got only those two left to kind of revisit for trials to get to the, um, temple that we need to get the Animas stuff that can unlock animal for us to use in our Aeon fight and then we'll jump into sisters afterwards so I'll probably do like a jump start of the sister stuff and then do the rest on my own time because it takes a lot more time which I'll go into explanation about when we get there but we're here in Kil uh, Kilika but apparently we can't get to it I went online briefly and looked up the guide and the guide said hey go to Bellevue uh, or not Bellevue <laughs> Bevel and uh, go to the high bridge is what he said, uh, what the person said. And then that's where you would see a cutscene, and then that will unlock the way to, uh, yeah, high bridge. So then Here this would help us unlock uh, the pathway to Kilika's trial because right now I think it's blocked because we need to do something about it, I think, before being able to visit it. Um, visit the certain trials that might be blocked off because I think uh, sin okay I guess yeah because sin has basically destroyed the bridge to the trials so we have to figure out a way to do something about it I think hold there this bridge is closed Bavel is off limits by the temple's decree no one may enter oh really huh Everyone's in mourning since Maester Micah died. And it's been mourning for days now. Passe. At least that's what they say. The temple's falling apart with all four maesters gone. They're afraid of riots, so they're turning everyone away. With our brother in the middle. What's up with Isaro? They came crying to him to stay in Bavel, to protect the temple and all that. And you know our brother. It's not in him to refuse. Oh, I guess our pilgrimage is done then, huh? Of course not. Jeez. Long story short, you'll only find trouble in Bavel. I'd stay out for your own safety. Uh, okay, I guess. So I'm guessing they're telling me not to go back in there, I guess? Um... So then we viewed the thing, so I don't need to save yet. Uh, actually, no, I want to save just in case onto an old save here. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, the cutscene seems kind of like weirdly needed, I guess, to go to Kalika's trial, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just confused about what the heck that was for. Also, I wouldn't even know, like, you need to go to other places to literally find these things. It's kind of weird to me that they kind of put them off to a different region place. To kind of give yourself, like, a chance to open up something. Okay, it looks like there is somebody over there now. Yeah, there's somebody over here. No? I thought I saw a human body from afar. I guess that's just a, like, a, a, a thing. Am I not done? I guess we need to just go into, uh, let's go back to Bavel. I mean, I already finished the trial there, but I want to see what happens if we go to the Bavel from inside the thing. 
uh, because he said there was a riot potentially in there. So I'm gonna still go in there anyways. Considering how stupid this is, I just I, I need to get through there. I mean, I could easily go to the Joe's, but I want to unlock this and finish it up. Like I want to unlock Kilika and just get through that one as quickly as I can because that's one thing that's an obstacle to me for some reason. So I rather just get the one that's harder out of the way before moving into uh, moving on to the other ones that might not be an obstacle. That whole bit about Yuna being a traitor is just some Albed rumor I hear. I just can't believe it. I mean, the Albed helped us out. You ain't wrong. The Albed is still helping us, actually. Isaru sends his regards to Lady Yuna, and he says he's sorry too. Okay. Um, I'm still going in there anyways, just because, why not? Unless it's gonna prevent me in there. Oh, it is preventing me from going in there. <laughs> I was right. Okay, so we got the hybrid. What, what the hell am I supposed to do? I got the cutscene, and now I'm confused. Because they said you had to go here, and then you gotta get to Kalika, but then... I'm so confused. What am I supposed to do? Yeah, I still can't access Kal Okay, let me look this up still. I guess that's not the solution. No, that's- yeah, the person didn't give the right solution, I guess. I need to look for the other one. Uh, yes, it's possible, but you have to wait until you have free roam over all of Spira. Here's the instructions as quick as he can be for the whole cloister. Pick up the sphere. Put in the door and take it out. Wait, what? That's not what I'm looking for. Where do they place this? I don't need the destruction sphere instruction. I just want to know what the hell I'm supposed to do. You must have gone to the high bridge on the airship first. Otherwise, they won't let you into the temple. Other than that, BBK Kid covered it. What do you mean? Uh... As for the other question of where the place destruction fear, I don't need to need. I don't need to know how to deal with the Kalika Temple Cloister. I just want to get in it, and I can't seem to get back in it because I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do. Uh, Program Rich Road. Temple. After a long cutscene, you'll wind up at the entrance of Kalika Temple. Head inside to, for another cutscene. That is not it at all. I didn't realize how bad this was in terms of pain in the butt to just get it open again. Just to get Kalika like, Temple opened up again. Oh, no. Let's see. Now, when I go to Baj Temple and try to get Anima, I can't because of the statue... Uh, so I go back to Kilika, then through the woods to the temple, but once I get to the place where I fought the one sin spawn, they are just two guys standing there. So I'm like, can I go upstairs anymore? Saying it's a holy place and blah blah blah. Get prize them so I can get... Kilika and Bellevue Temples are the only two which by no means you can return to. So if you miss the chests in either of those temples, I'm afraid you cannot get anima unless you get action replay or something. So basically I have to restart the game. No, that's not true, I don't think. Wait, let me try it first before you restart or wait till the other members give you an idea. I'm 100% or 99.9% .9 you can. You just have to wait till you are cleared of your traitor statue status to do this. Simply beat Sin when you air, when you're air when you're on airship and then go to Bevel. They will clear you and you will be able to go there. Oh. Uh, so they're not going to let you in. <laughs> Ah, oh, that's so scummy, though. Okay, so the only way into Belleville, Belleville and Kalika, Kilika, is literally if I beat Jet, because Jet is considered Sin right now. He's the Sin character. Arg! Why the hell do they set it up like this? This is ugh. Okay, well I'll take care of the other trials, I guess. In the meantime. So that means I can't save the Dark Aeons for the last parts of it. And I can't get Anima to fight. So I'm gonna have to just rely on what I can do with, uh, with, 
Yeah, let's go to the Joes anyways and clear that out. So that means I have no choice but to legitimately get through a jet before I can actually use the rest of the stuff I need to use to 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 continue on. What the heck is this guy doing? Ambushed again. Why am I getting ambushed so much? What is this? Why is there more ambush than normal? Fire. Yeah. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised that these things are still doing fire. We're doing it. I don't know why they're getting amb why we're getting ambushed so easily. Is it the speed? The total speed of the team is not good enough? <laughs> I mean sometimes it is stat related, so it's like that's why like escape doesn't happen often because the speed is not enough against the enemy team or something. I don't know. It's kind of weird to me, anyways. All right, your Jimbo. Let's do this. So now his cloth is not messed up like last episode <laughs> because his cloth is not being blown to bits. Yep. All right, let's go. Pay a hundred again as usual. And Wakizashi. One down. Two more to go. Uh, I'll pay a hundred again, as always. I'm gonna keep paying him a hundred until he gets his compatibility. F oh no, he's not taking the hundred. Until he gets that fulfilled, get the one hundred, uh, get the uh, compatibility fulfilled. To it. But I also think that the when the dog gets um, gets to attack, he doesn't need it anyways. Yeah, the dog attacks if he's not if he's not accepting the money amount. I'm guessing. Cool. A lot of monospheres, I'll take it. What is this guy anyways? The warrior monks who were patrolling the high road have left. They've been ordered to protect the palace in Saint Beville. Of course, Beville's security is important too, but who will look after our safety now? Okay, interesting. Uh, I think we need to go through here, right? No. I'm confused, how do I get to the... How do I get to the thing, though? Burn! Wow, that's an overkill. If I've seen one. Yo, Jimbo, here we go. Um, trying to think. Yeah, I'm wondering how I'm gonna get to the temple. If that's where the temple is. I think I don't think that's where the temple is, but I can probably skip over it for the time being and look for the other stuff first. We'll look around the other spot spots first. But I think this is a good opportunity to start accumulating more compatibility for your Jimbo for the time being. Because, again, gotta get your Jimbo to, to, to do some stuff here. Alright, pay 100 as always. Alright, he's accepting that 100. Wakazashi. Ooh, okay, that... Hit both rather than one. I'm wondering why Wakizashi is only hitting like one in some cases, I guess. Like sometimes it does hit one, sometimes it hits a lot. But it never really makes sense to me a little bit, I guess, every now and then. Uh, summon again, as always. I'm trying to figure out how to get to the temple. The temple does not look obvious to me. <laughs> I don't know why, it just seems very not obvious. It might be on the left with the green square, because the green square is where it's usually uh, giving that sort of like location-based stuff, but... Honestly, I don't know if that's the case. I might be fooled, fooled, bamboozled, as I cannot tell what map is what. I think that's one of those things that I feel that this game is weak on, is the direction of like where you want to go. Like, you can barely know... Like, you're relied on memory, basically, by that point. Oh, he's not accepting it again. Okay. Okay, here we go again. Nope, he's not accepting it again. Man, that dog is pretty strong, though. Doggo is not not bad. Oh, no, he did accept the, seven, the 100 that I just gave him. Yeah, from the angle, it didn't look like he was accepting it, but he was, technically, probably. Yeah, I'll take that. 
sweet. Yeah, each battle gives him a little bit of compatibility, at least. I say that much. Though this map does not give me back a lot of... Like, it doesn't give returns. Like, it doesn't have high-end returns for uh, gills, so it kind of sucks a little bit. Preemptive attack. You know going first, of course. The jumble, welcome back. I mean, I'm constantly gonna keep paying him out with 100, no matter what. I'm I'm operating at a semi loss, a little bit, like a small loss, because these monsters, these fiends, aren't giving back enough kills. But I'm living with it, you know. I gotta live with it. Okay, we still got some good time. Yeah, I wanna get to freaking uh, trials. Just give me a chance to get to the trials, please. Also, I still want to like not always battle, but it's like I can't have it in any way that like nope he's not accepting it yep it looks like he did it but he still took the, the hundred anyways i don't get why he does this gesture like that because it sounds like he's like not accepting it it looks like but then he is actually accepting it it's just that the dog attacks with that move that he says oh he got pissed he wanted to do zen <laughs> Yojimbo was pissed that the thing hit him. <laughs> I mean, that, that looks exactly like what it is. Alright. Chashink! And slice. Oh, half his body. What's really interesting is that VFX, the, the effect that he gets hit by, looks like blood spurted out of the character's body, but it's not supposed to be I guess I don't know all right how do we get to the top there there is a thing right here it looks like right here maybe I need to press square or something like that as I always I always forget that there's always a weird prompt that you don't know about that you have to press and then like it will let you jump or something like that sometimes because I do see a road path and it looks like it's not a cutoff path on the mini map so that might be the case where I just need to force him to jump a little bit. Hello! Doggo! Alrighty, here we go. What? I didn't even pay him! <laughs> Kozuka, okay. It's like a freebie for me anyways, I guess. I didn't even pay him anything, and he's already giving me a freebie attack. What the heck? Hey, you gotta be paid for your service, man. You gotta be paid for your service, man. Thunder. Here we go. Ow. Yep, he's getting another freebie again. This guy's like... Your Jimbo's like really just giving me a freebie here. <laughs> Maybe because his compatibility is like at a high. But I doubt it. I doubt that his compatibility is at a good high right now. But seriously, I really want to build the Zen Mattel to just be able to knock out like the Dark Aeons quickly because I really do need them out of the way. But we'll see. We'll see if this is the case where like, as we're getting closer to the Overdrive, uh, it'd be nice to see that... Um... Oh, there it is. I was like, what the heck? Okay, there we go. That is such a weird space. I can't even tell if that's a stairs or not. <laughs> that did not look like a staircase or a climbable thing. <laughs> Alright, there we go. At least we climbed the thing. That much I'll take. Oh, there's a chest here. What the heck? Soft. Okay. I believe soft was like to unpetrified some stuff, I guess. I don't remember if that is the case. Ambushed, ambushed. I don't think we're in, um, I don't think we're at the Joes anymore, I think. I think we're, this is not the place we need to go. This does not look like the Joes anymore. And so I'm worried that I might be going in the wrong direction though. Because I can't tell what direction I'm in. Or what locations I might be at, so I'm gonna have to probably see if I can figure out where I'm at. I think I need to look at. I don't know if the menu, the main, the the, the pause menu. I don't know if the pause menu will tell me where I'm at. 
in terms of location because I need to know where I'm at because I don't know where I'm at at all whatsoever. Alright, um, 100, as usual. Waki Zashi, will it hit all of them? Only hits one of them. Yeah, sometimes it hits two, sometimes it doesn't at all. It's weird to me sometimes. Waki Zashi. Will it hit both of them? Nope, it hits only one of them again. Thunder. 100, here we go. Kozuka, okay. I'll take that. I was thinking he was gonna use his Senmato, I was like, oh no, please, no, don't. Don't use Zomato, just save it, please. Save it for me. <laughs> save it for the Dark Aeon, please. Alright. I mean, at least their, their return is pretty okay. Mushroom Rock, okay, we're only- we're not in the right place. I think we just went off to the wrong direction here. Alright. I'll probably revisit Mushroom Rock eventually. I don't think I needed to right now. Um... Because I think it's not necessary at the moment. Oh, so the, the crates are actually the, the staircase. Okay. That is such a weird, weird thing to see. A weird thing to, to know that the freaking stairs is literally crates. <laughs> Whatever. Alright, here we go, Zenmato. Or Jojimbo. <laughs> I'm mixing his name with his move that is always an insta-kill. Just really bad. I remember Yojimbo for Zenmato. His name should be Zenmato. Because it's, it matches his name. <laughs> this is hilarious to me. Yeah, so once we get through the space, I'm hoping that we'll just get the trials done and like move on. Because I really want to get over with this space. I just want to get it over with. I want to like get to the freaking thing and get it done. And then see if we can go to the Aeons, the Dark Aeons, and deal with them. Because I don't want to deal with this so much so every time, so... Uh, 100, yeah. I think 100 is a pretty good value to try and accumulate ever so slowly. But I'll increase it by a lot more if I have to, like, deal with other enemy types that needs to be dealt with. Like, the Dark Aeon... It's funny because we spent 100k and nothing came out of it from that point. <laughs> it was interesting because I was like, I remember, like, not last episode, but, like, three episodes ago or something? When we were... Or two episodes ago. The episode before last episode, when we used Regimbo for the first time against uh, Dark Valifor. It was like, oh, okay, well, it seems like he's not doing much because it's something else, I guess. Oh, let me get this. Let me save, anyways. Uh, 28, 28, yeah, this is the one I saved over, okay. Yeah, because I want to save so I can give Regimbo at least a chance to, like, get the... The build up that he needs for some stuff. Oh. Alright. Uh, summon, yes. Go Jimbo, please. Alright, as always, just summoning, summoning, summoning. I don't know if I should just head back to Valifor for, with your Jimbo with a near overcharge attack. Overdrive attack because I think that the overdrive doesn't matter as much Due to the fact that he might be uh, not possible of getting the Zenmato ready to go But I'm just worried that like if I do get maxed out Like if I do max out the overdrive should I just try and like go to the Valifor fight and then see if it can instantly hit the Zenmato against him But it's just very difficult to say for sure because it's, it's, it's not easy to know Uh, 100, please. Yeah, my my brain is like, I want to go back to fight Valifor. <coughs> Dark Valifor and see if this will be good enough at this point. But I need to have him at, like, a good overcharge or overdrive. But it's unfortunate that I can't control him on his overdrive. Like, I can't tell him to stop at the middle of that so that I can drop the, uh, drop the Zenmato when needed. And I also don't mean to keep getting into a battle, it's just that 
<laughs> I'm trying to like find my way through and I don't know where to go, so I'm sorry if <laughs> I'm bumping into more fights than normal in the last few episodes. <laughs> I'm like, I don't want to keep fighting, but I know for a fact that it's forcing me to fight because I have no choice to in these areas to decide when I want to get freaking jumped on enemies or not. I also wonder sometimes too, because like in RPGs, like this kind of thing is pretty old school design where you don't get to see what you're looking or what you're going through. Like there's, I see three things, three different types of like uh, encounter design in RPG games. One of them is Pokemon related, which is like there's a designated area to get affected by getting caught up with a Pokemon battle. And then here in this case with Final Fantasy and some other RPGs similar to it, it's random encounters in certain bigger areas, but it's very like not designated. It's just like location based, I guess, like a whole whole area based. And then the other, the third one would be like encounter based on the the thing in the map, like like let's say uh, I'm trying to find a good example, like Nino Kuni One, I guess would be the best example. In the open world map, it's like there's actual creatures hopping about, and so if the creature gets you and touches you, you instantly get into battle with that that creature or that uh, that. That particular, yeah, that particular creature and stuff. So I think that, like, it... I feel like this design isn't as good as it used to be anymore. Like, I think now people would want to at least know what it is. But I think it really depends on how the designers want to take it. Or how the pub... Not the publishers. Yeah, the designers. Like, how they want to exact the, the way to, to build the encounter for the players to work with or work against. Alright, let's keep moving. Yeah, let's move to the right, I guess. Mushroom Rock Aftermath. Wait, what? What, what the? <laughs> I exited the menu and immediately when I was moving, it just started getting me into an ambush. Or into a, 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 a freaking battle. So random. I thought I was in the freaking the Joe's High Road. What the heck? This is not the Joe's High Road. This is literally Mushroom Rock. I'm confused why they pushed me onto Mushroom Rock. What the heck? I'm surprised they put me in Mushroom Road and not High Road. The Mushroom uh, Rock is so weird. I don't know why the locations are so weirdly placed. All right. I believe in you. No freebies as always. Interesting. It is interesting though that he's not doing any freebies for whenever it's at wherever we're at now. Maybe because he lost his compatibility a little bit. Ooh, okay, I can't do this. I wanted to, like, not let him do this, but it looks like he's gonna probably Zenmato them now. Yep, because his overdrive hit the max at that point. Alrighty, here we go. Yeah, it kind of sucks. I wanted to save that overdrive to, like, be used against the thing. But we also haven't bumped into Zenmato in a long while, I guess. Is it because that the higher the tier, the more chances it might hit? I don't think it does, but it, for some reason it does kind of feel like that's true. I don't know. Because the math on it, when I last saw it, it was, like, the higher the tier of the enemy type, the, uh, the lower the motivation, but apparently it doesn't look like it's true, maybe? I might be wrong. Might be due to, like, how I already, like... May might be due to how I, I saw the map, I guess. Alright, summon... your Jimbo. Gotta rebuild that stupid... thing again. Have to rebuild his, uh, his overdrive. Ugh. Yeah, anyways, I'm trying to think, sorry. I'm trying to think, like, if his overdrive... His overdrive gives you plus 20, I think it was, in the math of what it was. Plus 20 in the compatibility, and then I'm paying 100 each time, so that 100 is, like, probably about... A small amount, like, 3, I think. It's, like, plus 3 in his compatibility each time I pay him 100. So, okay, I guess he just instantly hits the Zenmato now, because his overdrive... When, whenever he uses uh, Zenmato, it minuses 30, I believe. 
I might be wrong. So I might have accumulated a lot, but it just he hasn't used it because the probability was low on my side because of how uh, because of how much things are there is that, that's available for me. So, but winning a battle does give me a three, I believe, as well, or a two, either one, two, or three. I forget because it's not as much, but it's enough to kind of get through it, I guess. Is this the Joe's high road for ones? Game <laughs> drops me in mushroom rock, but not the Joe's high road. There we go. Sheesh! Why the hell did they not spawn me here? Instead, they spawn me in mushroom rock. I absolutely don't get why they put me over there. It just confused the hell out of me. Is it because this thing does not work? I guess like the way it should be. I don't even know. Whoa. Those things are very scary. Wait. I've also noticed your Jimbo's got a bit more health now. 300 and 3145. Previously he was like 3109, but he didn't get damaged at all, I don't think. I remember him getting Do does the Aeon actually level up with Yuna maybe? I'm, I'm out of curiosity, I don't know if that's true yet, because I haven't really known if Aeons can actually scale with Yuna. So like, the more I level Yuna up, the more they get scaled up with her, I guess. Is that true? I'm kind of curious now, because I haven't really seen it yet. Because I'm not aware of it, because they don't... I don't get instructed often enough to remember that, like, if the Aeons do get powered up with, uh, with Yuna's level up. Because she did level up a little bit. You know, they level up uh, one sphere level. So maybe there might be a chance that if I do level up, you know, a lot, maybe she can get much more stronger Aeons from it. Maybe. Might be true. I have no clue. Because I am out of. <laughs> I am out of my mind knowing nothing almost. Because I, I haven't played this game long enough to know it. 81? Yeah, why not? Um, oh, I'm maxed out on my sphere. Ma mana spheres. Oof. Strength. Defense. <sighs> Accuracy. Agility. You know what? I'm just gonna power up his health anyways. Alright, I wanna power up Muhammad on his magic a little bit, I guess. Since we maxed out on having a lot of mana spheres here. Um, man, magic defense is taking a lot more because it's higher, I guess. Evasion. Luck. Oh yeah, because we have enough speed sphere for that. Mm, no, I'm good, I think. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry too much about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, let's keep going. I wanna get to the frickin' trials of this place. Looks like a chocobo over there. I think that's one of the people we talked to previously, maybe. Oh boy, okay. Jimbo. Yeah, so I'll probably, like, if that is the case where if we power up Yuna enough and she gets us scaled up with Aeons, or the Aeons scale up with Yuna, then it's much more valuable for me to literally train her right now, like, train her a lot more, and, like, make sure that, uh, she gets enough XP to like deal with uh, a lot of enemies up ahead because I think that these Aeons are valuable in a way, but I don't really notice it because it's not obvious to me, I guess. Like they don't tell you like, oh, it scales like all the time. It just tells you very little about what happens. Was Wakazashi. Hey, triple kill. So Wakaz... Oh. Wakizashi is like literally like a random hit of like how many gets attacked by it, I guess. It's kind of weird to me a little bit. Alright. I don't see a pathway to like the trials here, so I'm assuming it's up. It's all the way down on the other side, probably. Down to the road. Uh, because it's like it's not showing up as anything right now. Alright, here we go. Here we go again. <coughs> huh? Here we 
are again. Actually. Yeah, we're already on time, or off time soon here. Alright, I'm gonna try to try my best to rush through this, like, as soon as possible when we can here. To get through, uh, get through the space. Because I want to get, get down to the next safe point, the safe sphere, and then, like, work with my way to... Yeah, I kind of had a feeling it's not gonna kill all... Oh? Ah, come on, dude! You Jimbo, don't waste it! I'm not wasting all the low levels here. Save that compatibility, man. Save it. I need it for, like, the other battles. I know it's freebie, but, like, seriously, I need to save it for the Aeons, the Dark Aeons, please. Stop using it. Alright, well, there goes those guys. Da 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 do do da ba bum. Alright. Okay, here we go. Keep on moving. I gotta get to the freaking trials if I can here. At least the trials, but at least try to save at the same time somewhere in time, hopefully. Here we go again, yo Jimbo. Let's do it. <coughs> But yeah, it kind of sucks as well, I gotta mention, like, it kind of sucks to have something block you from getting to certain spaces because you have to beat the part of the story a little bit. It kind of sucks, though, that it's story-related that blocks you, not so much as the, um... Like, you can't do anything about it besides being better at the game, I guess. Like, get better at the game. For a second, I was like, he was gonna do some weird stuff with, like, like, doing an attack before paying... <laughs> Bazooka. Ching. Overkill. Alright. And... Wakazashi. Alrighty, cool. Unfortunately, his overdrive is not building up because he's killing them faster than they can attack him, for sure. Kinda sucks, but it's whatever it is. Is that a chest? It looks like I opened the chest already, okay. I was like, is that a chest I opened, or is it still sitting there unopened when I missed it, if I missed it? Okay, here we go. Yo Jimbo, come back out, please. I need your compatibility to be at the highest I can make it to be for now. <laughs> I mean, I'm not like aiming to make it like I don't think I can make it super high and be prepared for the fight. The only thing I can do is probably prepare uh, Yojimbo with more overdrive before, like, at least nearly maxed out overdrive, but I don't know. I don't think I can see it being possible where Yojimbo can, like, do a lot Please more than us. what he does at the moment, I'd say. Zuka. There we go, that's one down. And here goes the second round. What's it gonna be? Is it oh, come on, man. Stop. Stop using Zimado. I need you to save it. Stop using it. It's only one enemy, too. <laughs> I hate it because Zimado is like being used now randomly. It's like, I don't want it to be used, but he keeps using it, and so, like, it cuts down with the, the chances of it showing up in the next run. Which is fine if it's me not fighting against, like, a boss, but, like, jeez, I wanted to see safe for the boss, please. Which I can't tell if I'll ever be able to get it done to the boss, but we'll see. Alright, I'm hoping I can get to the save soon, because I'm getting annoyed here. Alright, I'm just gonna go and, like, black magic this stuff out of here. Because I'm just getting a little bit uh, drained of using Yojimbo every time, so it's like, I don't want to keep going and using Yojimbo. Because it's just getting annoying a little bit, so I'd rather just, like, get it over with and, like, finish this off. Plus, I also haven't had these guys, like do any fighting for a while, so it's better off just to save some money here. 
Oh. What are you guys doing? Unbelievable. A flying ship that sings? My jaw dropped when I saw it. A huge crowd gathered the high road and they all sang along arm in arm. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Okay, which road is what? Oh. Is that a guy in the middle of the road? Oh, oh Jesus. Ambush. No! Oh, thank goodness. Thank you, Lulu, for not being petrified from that bullcrap. But at least we got over that, so now we can use your Jimbo to just literally smash these two. <laughs> Alright, I don't know which road is which to the trial, so I'm gonna look at... I might try one of them and then just go to it. If I see a safe severe, I'm out. Like, I'm done for the time, for this episode. But holy heck, dude. Holy heck. It's so freaking annoying just to go through this place. Once I get through this place and get through the trials, if I can get through the trials in this run, then I'll probably, like... Well, it might be not this episode, but the next episode. Oh god, he's already wasting it. A free attack, why? Actually, that doesn't... I don't think it costs your compatibility if he's running it for free, I think. It just means the compatibility is pretty good so far, I think, with, uh, with what your Jumbo has. I would think. But I think the big one is definitely Zenmato. Like, Zenmato is the big one that allows him to really just smack down the enemies. Alright, I'm going this way. If I find a sphere, I'm just saving immediately and, and ending the episode. If not, then I'll just keep making my way through until I find a sphere that can save. Uh, I'll look at the other space too. I have to look at the other spot too, just in case. Wait, what? I'm, I'm trying to see what the thing- don't just disappear on me! Temple- there's the temple. Temple's on this way. On the right side, it looks like. Temple of the Joes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're going this way. Alright, thank god there's an actual outpost that actually tells us where to go. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna keep getting lost until I find an outpost or something. Oh, it's the monkey guys. It's been a long time, how does it go? These guys are happy that we're here. Interesting. I can't hear them. We're facing tough times. The monks all seem dejected and hardly anyone visits the temple anymore. I'm okay though. I'll live by the teachings no matter what. Interesting. So all these guys are just like the leftover people who did not lose faith in our cause to fight against sin. So I guess that might be a good case for what it is. Please let me save, please. Ah, thank god. Finally. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Next episode, we're gonna go ahead and go into that space. Uh, this was a stupidly long trip for no reason at all to get to the spot. Um, but at least we got here, and we're gonna be able to do the trial for the next episode. Once we finish the trial for the next episode, we're gonna go head off to... Uh, we're gonna try running again against the Besed one again. Um, I wanna at least get the Dark Aeon stuff out of the way quickly enough. Uh, but we'll see what happens there. I don't know how far we're gonna get with that, so I'm gonna try my best to... to do something about it. I don't know how much or how far we would get in that particular position, so I'm gonna try to, like... Um, I'm gonna try to, like, at least try to do something about it, I guess. Um, but for now, we're just gonna live with what we got and, um, see where we go from there. Evasion is 122? Huh? This guy's evasion is like super duper high. What the hell? <laughs> that is a high ass evasion thing. Whoa, dude. You only. Oh my god. Why would you lose 61 just for. You lose 61 s speed sphere just to raise the evasion by one. That is so garbage. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, that's not cool. Yeah, at least this is reasonable, but like 122 I think is because it's like Because that's what your Jimbo is all about I think is that he evades very fast If only if I can keep increasing that I think then maybe it could be also useful in the case where uh, He can dodge all the dark ones the dark aeons attack like in a lot of cases or something But I don't know it, it takes speed and agility. Uh, it takes agility and act no agility and evasion to kind of make it easily better I think it's like you get to go first faster 
and you can dodge much more faster, so it would be interesting to see. Anyways, point is, that's it for this episode. Next episode, let's do the Dejo's Temple ro uh, trial run and get the Destruction Sphere stuff done from that. Once we finish that, uh, again, I'm going to go to Besed, maybe Makalania, Macal maybe? I don't know yet if I want to go to that one yet. But then I will do uh, Besed first, and then if we can defeat Valifor, maybe I might push my chances and, and try to beat Shiva in Makalania uh, Temple, and then once we're done with that, I will probably head back to Jet. Uh, because I think that our time with it now is probably important for me. I might try and give myself some time to train Yuna a little bit to level her up by a lot so that we can probably have a better chance using Yojimbo, not just on the Dark Aeons, maybe? Like, if I can't be... Okay, so here's the case. Here, here's the two paths I'm seeing myself in. If I can't beat Valifor just yet, I will take my time to stop or pause and take my time going back to jet and then uh from there i'll probably grind some levels sphere levels for luna so that she can scale up her aeons i think that aeons do scale up with yuna when she gets leveled up in the sphere levels and uh as soon as she hits a certain point i'll probably go into um yeah, I'm sorry. I'm looking at the, the abilities for some reason. White magic, black magic. Um, yeah, so as she, as she is leveling up sphere levels, I'm assuming that it does scale the Aeon's levels up as well with them, with her. So I think that would be nice to try and uh, get that going. And then once we get to a certain level, then I can probably let the Aeon's run, f like, run against enemies here and there. But otherwise, I would probably start building up on training the enemies, or training the Aeons, and um, getting the Aeons to a reasonable level to deal with certain types of things. Um, I do want to get Yuna to be at a higher like rate of things, but for now, I think that uh, we'll see what happens, because I'm going to try my best to do things. But anyways, plan is, if we can't beat Valifor in like maybe five tries in one of the episodes uh, coming ahead, maybe in the next episode, maybe, um, then I'm going to stop. And then head over back to Jet. Um, we'll probably spend an episode running back to Jet. And then I'll take my time to train Yojimbo along the way. Or train Yuna along the way up to Jet. And then we'll fight Jet with Yojimbo's strategy. Which is to keep Yojimbo alive to the near end, I guess. To the part where he gets... To the part where uh, Jet becomes phase 2. But before we do that, I'll probably spend some time grinding a little bit of level ups for Yuna. Specifically, so she can build up the... Uh, compatibility and also build up the level for herself to get more powerful. I think that is the case, but I'll, I'll have to look that up again just to see if that's true. If uh, leveling up Yuna will give some upgrade stats to, or some additional stats to uh, to the Aeons that she carries. All the Aeons gets like the upgrade with her. So maybe we'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll have to try and see if that's true or not um, after this episode. So we'll see what happens um, in the next episode. If we can't beat, um, if we cannot beat Valifor in five tries in the next episode after finishing this trial, of course, then we'll try to just move on back to Jet, finish Jet off, and then we'll come back and do the Aeon, the Dark Aeons and stuff, and try to unlock Anima and unlock the Sisters right after. Because I think that it's valuable to get those guys so that I can start doing the final fight. Because there is a final fight after Jet uh, that will hopefully be easier if I can get everything all solidified. Uh, but I really want to beat this game, but it's like it's really tough. But we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, I'm, I will work my hardest, hopefully. So thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next episode, uh, and uh, we'll see where we go from there. So, Roz, out.